Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another WWE Elite Review. Today I'll be doing a double review of Legend Series 14, DX members China and Road Dog. On the sides of the box you see an image of the wrestlers, then on the back you see another image, the titles that they have won, a read-up of the figures, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, so those were the boxes, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at China and Road Dog. Alright, and here we have the DX members China and Road Dog out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figures, let's look at the accessories that they come with. China comes with a pair of gloved gripping hands. Road Dog comes with a pair of open hands for the DX crotch chop. China comes with a soft goods leather vest. Not real leather, obviously, but it is removable. There is Velcro at the front, so you can't take this off. And then Road Dog comes with his army gear. He's got the same camouflage pants that we've seen with Triple H and Billy Gunn. So there is Velcro on the back, so you can't take that off. And then he comes with a DX shirt, just soft goods. Nice material. That can come off as well. He comes with this accessory right here. Not exactly sure what this is called. And then he's got his DX helmet. And this helmet it is actually different than the other ones that we got from the other figures because this one has a hole at the top for his hair. So you can take this off and showcase his braids. Alright, take a look at China's head sculpt first, and I don't think this is brand new. It looks like the first China figure that we got, which was from the 2-pack with Triple H, so I don't think they really changed anything with the face scan. It is sculpted really well. It does look like China from this time period. Paint looks really good. The eyes are painted well. The eyebrows, the lips look good. Now what's different is the hair sculpt. So she's got her bangs right here, and her hair pulled back in a ponytail, which looks really good. I think the sculpt work on the ponytail is really nice. So I do like this hair sculpt. It looks good, except for this part right here. It looks like there's some extra glue residue on the side of the hair, so that's annoying. I could probably paint over that or maybe try to remove some of that with some nail polish remover, but that's annoying. That sucks. But aside from that, I think the overall head scan with the hair sculpt looks really good. And then, looking at Road Dog's head sculpt, this looks really good. It definitely looks like Jesse James from the late 90s. Sculpting on the face looks really good. Paint looks good on the beard, the eyes, the eyebrows. The lips look good. The side of the head looks really good with the buzzed hair and sideburns. The sculpting of the braids look really nice. Now, this is pretty much the same as the last Road Dog figure that we got. This was from the Hall of Champions wave that was a Target exclusive. So yeah, the most recent Road Dog figures were Target exclusive figures. So yeah, the sculpting looks pretty much the same, it's just the paint looks slightly different. But I do like this head scan, really nice. The tattoo in the back of the head looks really good, painted very well. Braids are sculpted well up here. Then look at Road Dog's body and he is bare chested. So that's a little bit annoying. I would have liked it if they would have painted a Road Dog shirt on here with a Road Dog logo. So with the previous Road Dog figure, we got a painted DX shirt. So I don't know why they didn't do that with this. It seems like uh, they kind of skimped out on the paint here, which I don't see any reason why they couldn't do it. I mean, Billy Gunn had his full attire underneath the DX army gear. Same thing with Triple H. And the upcoming X-Pac is going to have his red singlet underneath the DX army attire. So they could have easily have given us a road dog shirt. The paint on the tattoos look really good. They are painted well. Looks crisp and clean. Same thing on this side. And he's got double jointed elbows. So that's really nice. This tattoo looks good. Then looking at the legs, they are the exact same sculpt as the previous road dog. Different paint design on the side, as you can see. So it looks pretty good. Not too bad. And then he's got boots that are just solid black. No extra paint. No extra design there. Then taking a look at China, She has this spiked collar around the neck, which looks really good. She's got a nice upper body here. It looks muscular and good. She's got big arms, which is really nice. Unfortunately, they are single jointed elbows. Would have been nice to get double jointed elbows, seeing how a lot of the elites pretty much now all have double jointed elbows, so they just reuse the previous China arms that we got, so that kind of sucks. The top looks good. It's just solid black. There is a little bit of fuzzy work here, some black bleeding on the skin. Not so much on this side. Nice strong back here, and then she's just got some solid black legs and black boots. And now, going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, doesn't look high up, barely looks down, can turn side to side, and tilt slightly. Shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around, bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. 
There's a ball joint at this diaphragm. Doesn't crunch that far forward. Goes really far back, so that's much better. Can pivot a bit and turn slightly. There is a waist swivel. Legs go that far out. They go that high up, so not the best range. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. A cut at the top of the boot. Ankle goes that high up. It's not the best range there. It's a bit tight on mine. It goes that far down. And some slight ankle pivot. Then looking at Road Dog's articulation, head is on ball joint, goes that high up, that far down, can turn side to side, and tilt pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around, there is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, ab crunch, allows him to crunch that far forward, that far back, there is a waist swivel, legs go that far out, so great range there, that high up. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some decent ankle pivot. Here's the new DX Army China next to the 2-pack China, and the WrestleMania Elite China. Here's the new Road Dog next to the Hall of Champions Road Dog. And then finally, here are the DX Army figures that we have gotten so far, we're just missing X-Pac. And then here they are wearing their army attire. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on Legend Series 14, China and Road Dog? Well, I'm gonna be honest, I do have a gripe with each of them. I would have preferred if Road Dog had a painted Road Dog shirt or something so that he wasn't bare chested. I may be the only one who feels that way, but that's something I would have liked to have seen. And then with China, it would have been nice if she had gotten some double jointed elbows. But with those gripes aside, I do still think they're pretty good figures. And if you're a DX fan, these are figures that you're going to want to have in your collection because they are updated versions of the previous ones. And this is our third Elite China, which is really nice. So if you missed out on any of the other previous DX figures that have come out in the past, Now's your chance to get them. They have these cool DX army clothes that you can put on them, so they're different enough from the other ones. So I do think they are worth picking up. They'll go along perfectly with Triple H and Billy Gunn, and soon we'll be getting X-Pac, so then you'll be able to complete your DX army. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Check me out on my social media so you can be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.